Now, a paper presented at the third annual international conference on entrepreneurship assesses the rate of successes in the SMMEs in South Africa with the aim to explain the role, limitations and possible distortions that emerge with the initiatives undertaken by the state in supporting and developing entrepreneurs in South Africa. Joining us now to discuss is the author Ralph Matega. It's Mateha, I got that right. Mateha, founder and director of Clear Content Research and Consulting. Ralph, thanks for coming through. Thank you. Let's begin by talking about the problem that's been prevalent in South Africa in this first government by President Jacob Zuma, defining the role of the state versus private enterprise. Is there confusion in that approach that stifles the probability and growth of the private sector and entrepreneurship? I think to start with, uh, it, it's very important to acknowledge that uh, there has been uh, a string of mixed messages from uh, President Jacob Zuma's administration in relation to uh, stating exactly whether are we going with the private sector in terms of developing our economy or, or are we moving uh, away from that. So uh, uh, there is clearly a, a, a confusion from that and I think uh, uh, the leadership has not been quite strong in stepping forward and stating exactly or dismissing some of uh, 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 insinuations about uh, possibilities of nationalization mm -hmm. and also they have not actually even stated what exactly is going to be the role of the state in driving the economy. We, I, I think we are sitting here, we don't have a, a clear idea as to exactly what's going to be the role of the state. Sure, but to be fair to them, they have said they are going for a mixed economy where there's a role for the state to play as well as a role for the private sector to play. But the problem is, does that blunt the ability of people to be creative and the ability of people to want to form their own businesses. In a sense, you can say that uh, uh, some of the discussions around uh, policies have stifled the environment within which people are supposed to act or are supposed to make decisions mm. as to whether or not to involve themselves in uh, 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 entrepreneurial activities or mm. to even engage in private accumulation of wealth within our country mm. in a naturally evolving way. Mm. So I can say that uh, 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 they have stifled the environment because of the, uh, uh, by giving those mixed messages. We are not very, very clear. And I think uh, the conclusion that I make, or let's say my, my hypothesis is that yeah. these mixed messages that you have somehow discourages people from engaging in entrepreneurial activities. Yeah. And I think it somehow affects what we call the ecosystem of entrepreneurship because it's not very clear, normatively speaking, if the state does support private accumulation of wealth and in what form does the state really support that. Indeed. Let me ask you a politically difficult question. Is BEE supportive of ent entrepreneurship, the development of uh, entrepreneurship? Well, that, that's quite a complex question indeed. I would say that uh, the intentions of BEE are to support uh, the emergence of such a, of entrepreneurship. Is it? But the actual is effect... It? Is it? The, I would, Let's in a, examine it. Because yes. BEE, for yes. its part, says to, to, to black people, yes. of course that's who it's directed at, yes. you prove that you are black. Yes. and the state will enable you to get a stake in a private business yes. or perhaps to get uh, support from an established business yes. and also support you in your advancement as a person. Yes. Does that blunt the creative capacity of black people? In other words, does it inhibit the growth of a black entrepreneurship class? Ideally speaking, you would say that uh, if you see more black actors within the, the economic uh, 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 atmosphere, you are likely to encourage... Ah, uh, never mind how they but got that there. Is, but that is not the case because I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the actual effect of BEE programs in a sense that it, it, it discourages people because it, it, it has a tendency to associate success yeah business success with yeah. political connections yeah. and bis yeah. b uh, business success and not with... not thinking with, on your own. Yes, not thinking on your own in a way that possible uh, 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 potential entrepreneurs within our economy then only see the state as a vehicle for success. And where is the opportunity for innovation in such kind of an environment? Yeah. I believe that entrepreneurship by people or individuals who are able to adapt and see opportunities as yeah. they come naturally yeah, exactly. in a market environment. But once you put the state as an actor in the way you do with BEE, yeah. you are bound to discourage people effectively. What are your findings on that, that front? My findings uh, are that uh, uh, 
despite good intentions of BEA to bring about black entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. the effect of it have, has been positive. I think if you look at the Global uh, Entrepreneurship Monitor, which assesses the rate of a country's involvement in uh, uh, entrepreneurial activities, yeah. individuals' involvement. South Africa has been declining progressively since 2001 until today. Yeah. You have had a 40% uh, progressive decline in the involvement of entrepreneurship among South Africans. Why is that the case? That decline coincides with the state's involvement yeah. in, in the private sector and, and, and somehow trying to bring about those entrepreneurs. So we have to ask questions exactly why. And even further findings that, that were presented at the conference, interesting is that you find the rate of entrepreneurship in South Africa among migrants is quite high. Mm. And that... Because they are forced to survive on their because own. Because they don't depend on the state as yeah. well. They do not wait and, and wait for some of the programs through uh, government departments such as the DTI and, and you name them. We're running out of time. What about nationalization? What did you find? Well, the question of nationalization, I think it, 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 it does take away the, 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 the argument of entrepreneurship. It, it is a threat to a sense of ownership. And we have mm. to understand that mm. entrepreneurship is a self-saving kind of motivation. It's a self-saving activity. You have to think about the success as an individual. But once that sense of ownership, what's that sense of taking ownership, giving it back to the state, mm. it, 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 it takes away the psyche that you need for people to be motivated and push for such kind of activities.